Hi guys, Brent here, and welcome back for round three of the uh, 2v8Q times uh, suffering experience that uh, we have been <laughs> documenting on this channel. Uh, I'm sorry if we're beating a dead horse a little bit here, but recently, if you were not aware, they uh, increased 2v8's length from the original time it was going to end, which was Thursday, all the way till this upcoming Thursday, August the 15th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you have been one of those people, which it seems like most people out there in the Dead by Night community, suffering from the very, very intense and excruciating appreciating queue times on killer whether that be on 2v8 or the normal mode because it's affecting both uh you probably looked at this news and went dude <laughs> i was so excited for this to finally end and it just reared its ugly head and just kept going it just kept going and i feel like it's funny because they were very ecstatic to roll this out and very very excited to roll this out apparently 40 percent of their player base played 2v8 uh as according to the 60 percent which is like the rest of us that was going back and forth between the two so they saw this as like uniquely a positive experience and something that was really really good to extend and kind of didn't really account for the fact that q times have been off on the game for a while and most of their mainstay players have been kind of waiting for 2v8 to end despite thinking it was fun for quite some time up until this point uh it kind of wore out because no matter how fun the experience is waiting 15 minutes ish for a match give or take whether that's higher or lower is not a good experience cute long queue times are not something that's been uh, foreign to the world of dead by daylight especially if you played survivor back in the day in the survivor meta heyday where we had old dead hard old ds unbreakable all that wonderful stuff uh survivor queue times could get up to like five minutes because it was the role that was you know had the most players and they had the meta at the time so Q times could get kind of long for Survivor. I remember uh, having to watch uh, Nuke's uh, top five ghost videos <laughs> in between queues. Uh, that was a vibe back in the day. But 15 minutes is pretty rough for Dead by Daylight, for especially considering that this goes to the normal mode as well. It's not just 2v8 because because so many people are playing uh, 2v8 on the killer side, uh, there's a vacuum of people in the uh, the 4v1 mode as well, which is creating hard key times over there. In addition to this, I think this is an important thing to mention, is that 2v8 has lost its 400% incentive on the survivor side, so even more survivors are leaving 2v8 and going back into the 4v1 mode, so that is what is going to cause even longer queue times now than even we experienced in the first iteration of the 2v8's run. Behavior has decided to come out and kind of like sort of address this, kinda sorta. They said that queue times are long and they are aware of it, uh, but they're their long-term goal, this keyword long-term, and we're not getting it this week, <laughs> is that they are going to introduce more killers because one of the criticized uh, criticisms of survivors that want to play 2v8 and, and like, you know, moving away from it is that they're tiger face and Huntress, nurse, basically the same killers over and over and over again. So they don't want to do it for that. And also there's not enough uh, survivor classes or not enough of those classes for them to be interested in. Essentially, most people boil down to uh, escapist <laughs> and scout and then the rest are kind of like uh, medics not really worth anything. So they just kind of, there's kind of no reason to play Survivor in 2v8 right now. The whole novelty of the mode is to play killer with your friend. So there's gotta be something like really enticing, like a blood point bonus or like an extra cool class that you can play. But there really isn't any of that in 2v8 for the Survivor end. Matter of fact, even the pre-existing uh, classes for 2v8 on Survivor basically are just a bunch of survivor perks slapped onto a specific character they're not really like something that is new or unique like billy being able to grant someone else exposed or um wraith being able to grant somebody else undetectable you know it's not it's not it's something that they would be able to kind of plausibly do just by running certain perk combinations anyway there's some cool stuff in there like how escapist gives other people the, sp the speed burst i think that's cool uh but there's instances like that are kind of like few and far between for the survivor classes so they need something more dynamic to make the gameplay actually different for the survivor end of the role because currently especially with the the extra incentives gone there's kind of no reason to play the survivor mode right now <laughs> so this i don't know this just kind of feels weird this feels to me like they were already planning to extend it and there was no plans to not extend it and then like post <laughs> people experiencing the queue times the really long queue times uh people were like please make it end but like behavior had already decided that they were going to just extend it anyway so they kind of said hmm well that sucks anyways <laughs> it just kind of like threw it through anyway um which was i i, I was uh, as much as i love tv i was also one of those people that's like i would really like to go back to having normal queue times i will as you see everywhere at this point i mean the xenomorph obviously xenomorph is not in this mode so uh if i want to play xenomorph i gotta go play 4v1 and in my 4v1 queue times on average my queue times are like seven to ten minutes give or take so 
yeah, that's kind of not fun, especially when I'm trying to like make stuff like the next like tail attack compilation and I can't get clips for it because I'm getting literally like half the games I usually wouldn't in a play session. It's pretty rough. It's pretty annoying. So yeah, uh, I it, it seems like looking the gift horse in the mouth a little bit and I promise that's not the route I'm trying to take with this. I love TV. I think it's cool. It's been really, really fun to with my friends and loved ones and to have a great time killing side by side. But these Q times are not something that should be the norm in Dead by Daylight. And I, I've heard certain old school players be like, <laughs> I used to sit through extremely long Q times. Well, good for you. I hope you get a cookie for all of that suffering you went through. But uh, this is not good. And nobody nobody wins here <laughs> by having super long Q times. So ban down the hatches. We only got one more week. We will make it. And uh, hopefully uh, behavior takes this as a teachable moment to be uh, a little bit more serious about uh, addressing queue times instead of just going hmm that's cool but what if we just do it anyway <laughs> so yeah uh, I'm sure all of you are suffering out there with the 2v8 queue times right now so uh, go ahead and tell me about it vent this is the venting space tell me how annoying your queue times been what has been your longest queue time mine has been like 16 minutes I think it's been my longest one what has been your longest queue time uh, since the 2v8 has come out doesn't matter which mode let me know down in the comments below but that's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching but i will see you tomorrow because i do upload daily but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye <laughs>